Welcome to Bone Smart Pilates. My name is Teresa Maldonado Marchak, and I'm a licensed PT, certified Pilates instructor, teaching Aging Strong workshops at Stanford University, and I am passionate about helping people to age strong. Working with active agers over the past 30 years, I found the top four areas that people are concerned about are loss of posture, loss of muscle, loss of balance, and loss of bone. I address all these concerns with my Bone Smart Pilates ABCs. They are A for alignment, B for balance, and C for contraction. Let's address alignment first. A slump posture, which is rampant now in all ages due to computer use, texting, driving, and sitting too much. This can affect not only how you look and feel, but also how you breathe, digest, and move. Let's try this example together. In a collapsed posture, try and take a deep breath. Now try and reach your arms forward and overhead. Just notice how that felt. Now, do the same thing with an elongated spine. Notice how much easier it is to take a full breath and how much further your arms can move. The good news is for most of you, posture is a conscious choice. Here's a great tip using a technique called hip hinging. When you bend over or sit down, instead of rounding your back to do it, try this spine sparing technique. Place a broomstick or dowel behind your back and keeping a long spine, create three points of contact at your head, between your shoulder blades and the back of your pelvis. Now I want you to hinge at your hips and maintain those three points of contact. Practice this as you sit and stand from a chair or when you bend to pick something up. If you have osteoporosis, it's critical that you avoid a rounded spine. This movement known as flexion can put your vertebra at risk of fracture because of the composition of bone in the front of your spine is more vulnerable to breaking. We've touched on alignment, now let's move to balance. As we age, we're prone to diseases that affect the systems that help with our balance. The good news is that research shows as little as five minutes of daily balance training significantly reduces your risk of falls. Here's an effective standing balance exercise. You're gonna place one foot in front of the other, directly in front. This is pretty challenging actually. Take your arms out to your sides and it'll help you if you feel your inner thighs drawing together. Feel your pelvic floor muscles turn on. Keep your head in alignment with your spine and just look forward. Final note is be sure that you're breathing because it's really um, common for people to hold their breath when they're balancing. Another exercise that you can fold into your day is just when you're brushing your teeth. Stand on one leg and do one minute for the top row and other leg, one minute for the bottom row. Do that twice a day and that's already four minutes of standing balance exercise woven seamlessly into your day. So we've touched on A for alignment, B for balance, and now let's finish with C for contraction. Here I'm talking about muscle contraction that occurs from strengthening exercise. Age-related muscle loss starts in our 30s, but the good news is that strength training, contracting our muscles, can avert most muscle loss due to aging. This is also helpful for our bones because when muscles contract, they pull on bones, stimulating bone growth. Here's a simple strengthening exercise. Do the hip hinge I taught you earlier when you get out of a chair. 
and hold it for three breaths while maintaining optimal posture. So you lean forward, lift your hips slightly off and feel the shoulder blades down, your tummy, your core engaged and feel as if you're back bending in your spine. Your weight should be primarily on your heels. And then you stand up, you do your business, have your cup of coffee. And when you come back down, you integrate same thing again and just hold that. And imagine you have that dowel behind your spine so you're maintaining optimal alignment. This exercise is great for not only hip and leg strength, but also for your spine, posture, and uh, breathing and core. These are just a few tips. I go into much more depth in my Bone Smart Pilates DVD series. If you're new to exercise or have osteoporosis or osteopenia, I'd recommend my first DVD, Bone Smart Pilates, Exercise to Prevent or Reverse Osteoporosis, which takes you through all the do's and don'ts for bone safety and bone building. If you have that DVD already or feel ready for a greater challenge, you might want to try my Bone Smart Pilates Aging Strong DVD series, which builds on my first DVD and moves at a more rapid and challenging pace. All my workouts include weight bearing, balance, and resistance work, all necessary components of a strength and bone building formula. Remember, even though aging is inevitable, how you age is a choice and within your control. I hope you found my tips helpful and thanks for joining me.